Hi everyone and welcome back to Tootsie Tuesday. Excited to be sharing these beautiful toes that match this set of nails. Now, if you are new to this channel, if you could go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video, share around this channel to help this channel to grow and definitely shoot me a thumbs up because it makes me smile, you guys, and it helps this channel to grow. Let's get started. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Happy what? Tootsie Tuesday. Excited to share these adorable, cute, childlike toes with you. Well, I'm calling it childlike because these flowers definitely look more like a child did them. And I love the way they turned out. Perfection. Let's take a look. Aren't those cute? I love them, you guys. I love the nails. I love the toes. I really like red in the summer. Red is so, you know, summery. It's such a pretty color. I love it on the toes. But I love these flowers. And I love how they turned out on the toes. Toes did it a little bit different. You saw that. But I just love them. I love the way they turned out. And I had so much fun. Like, if you've seen Monday's video, you see it's so easy to do the technique. Because you're just, that imperfection makes perfection. And it just is so childlike. I love the way it turned out. So, but before we get on and you guys get to see how I did these toes, let's read our words of Jesus for women. And I'm wearing the same outfit because like I said, I always record the nails and the toes on the same day. So I'm not wearing the same outfit two days in a row. It's the same day. All right, another great one. This one's called Evidence from Inside, Mark 7, 20. What comes out of a person is what defiles them. And it goes on to say, perhaps you have been the recipient of a space of ugly words spewed at you from a friend. We all got that, right? Or maybe you have witnessed some unkind behavior towards another person, and we've all done that. These experiences are especially hard when they come from a Christian sister who claims to have a relationship with God. It's yet another example of good appearance on the outside, but the real heart of a person shows in actions and words. Make sure your heart is clean. Ask Jesus. Help in getting rid of the things that make it unclean so that your words and actions reveal his love to all around you. Wow, guys. Wow, God must be speaking to us. He's speaking to us. Maybe somebody has hurt you in your life and is, you know, claiming to be a Christian and truly isn't walking right with God. Maybe you're not walking right with God. Maybe you're hurting somebody. Maybe, you know, maybe... God is trying to, you know, say something too. And like I said, when I read these, these are also for myself. Now, I'm not hurting anyone. No, 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 no. I have no hate for anyone. I'm not hurting anyone. But maybe there's some things in my life I need to clean up to show the Christianity. But I do know that I am doing the best I can handing out tracts, being loving, kind, you know, kind to everyone, and just, you know, doing as much as I can for God. But I can definitely spend more with him. Definitely spend more time with him. But this is, you know, just showing so many can claim to be whatever they want to be. But Jesus knows the real heart. He knows your real heart. And, you know, you got to know that at any time Jesus could return. Get your salvation right with him, you guys, and get right with the Lord. Take that anger, that bitterness out of you. Quit hurting people behind their back. Quit saying things about people. Quit, you know, uh, what is it? You know, assuming things and, and hurting others and, and then saying, you know, Claiming to be a Christian, that's just not right. Jesus knows the truth. He does. He knows the truth. So try to be as Christ-like as you can and get into the Word of God. You get into the Word of God more and get that salvation right with the Lord. You're going to know and you're going to live completely different. You will. Completely different. I definitely am living a much different life. You know, I'm not hurtful to anybody. Sure, I may have hurt people growing up, but I was always a loving person. But maybe I did hurt people growing up that would hurt me, but not anymore. I pray, pray, pray for them because I know that their life is very unhappy. So I wanted to be happy for them. So I'm praying for them and I'm praying for all of you to get your salvation. I hope you got it. And if you didn't get it today and write it down and know that you have eternal life in heaven, if you believe, and then live that Christ-like life, live it if, you know, the best that you can be as sweet as you can to everybody. The bottom says, review your interactions with others over the last week. Have your words and actions shown the love of Jesus to others, or do you see that your heart might need some cleaning? I would say that definitely my heart is shown through 
um, handing out tracts and, you know, just going to church, the love at church for people. And um, even between me and my husband, the love has been different. We're doing that love dare together and just reading more scriptures, getting closer to him. So I would definitely say that, um, I, I would say that my actions are showing the love of Jesus for sure in my heart. And I can always use cleansing up. We, you know, none of us are perfect. We all have faults. So yeah, I could definitely use some more cleansing in my life. So I'm definitely going to work on that. And hopefully all of you guys will get something out of this. I always say when I do this, it's for me, but I hope somebody out there gets something out of it, gets their salvation. I want to win as much as I can. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Study it, honor it, obey it, get on your knees, spending quality, alone time with Jesus. Set an alarm and spend time with God as much as you can. And I'm telling that to myself too. I do spend time with him, but it's never enough. He can never do enough for what he did for us, sending his son to die. And that's how we get to heaven through belief, believing he did all that. We get eternal life. Let's do something for him. Let's pick up this Bible and read it. And every time you read it, you're going to get something different. So love it, honor it, obey it, and get a personal relationship with Jesus. He's your best friend. He's never going to leave you nor deceive you nor hurt you nor say or talk behind your back. Don't talk behind people's back. Don't do this wrong. Don't judge. We are not allowed to judge. Only God can judge. And that God would never want somebody to hurt somebody, ever. Take it upon itself in their own hands to take care of it. Let him do it. Let him take care of it. I love you guys very much. Let's get started on this adorable toe design. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hi, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's Tootsie Tuesday Toes for the summer. Matching those adorable nails I did for Manny Monday. We have went with a French look with red. And then we've done white flowers in a childlike look. Bordering it with black paint, rhinestones, leaves. And we have some lines going on as well. If you'd like to see how I did this set of toes, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Tootsie Tuesday. Getting ready to do another beautiful summer set of toes that match with those cute, adorable, childlike nails I did for Manny Monday. Now we're gonna do the toes to match. I always do them a slight difference, um, but it always matches. And then of course, tomorrow you'll get the Wear It Wednesday outfit that matches the nails and the toes. All right, let's go over all the supplies. It's all the same supplies I used in the nail video, but sometimes people don't watch the nail video, like I say, so let's go over and show you. All right, for the sheer background, I use this one. I just made this. I always keep telling you guys the same thing. I just make my own shears. I buy clears and I just add like baby pinks or tans into it and I make my own. If you'd like to know how I made this one, I can actually write it down in the box in this one. Um, or if you go into my nail video that went with my Daisy Duke look, I explain how I made it in that one, the colors I use. But basically, it's just using some soft pinks in it. Um, like so many drops, I did like 20 drops of a soft pink. I used kind of a medium pink, did like five drops of that or 10 drops of that and just shook it up. I always make my own. So that's the sheer I made. That's what I have on the toes and the nails. And this beautiful red by Kiss, it's from the Dollar Tree. And it's called um, Marius Cherry, I believe is how you say it. I hope I'm saying it right. It's a beautiful kind of orange red. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the Kiss polishes. All right, and then I topped it off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat so we can go ahead and do the art. The art, I'll be working with black and white paint because we're going to be doing the flowers like on the fingernails here. We're going to do the white flowers with leaves, and then we're going to just border it to make it look more childlike. Um, just kind of, you know, not making perfect lines. That's not what you want. You want this to be art, so you want it to be imperfected because imperfection makes perfection. Let me tell you, that's what art's all about. So we're going to use black and white, the, their apple barrel from Walmart, 50 cents a piece, and they last a lifetime. Let me tell you, I'm going to use Robin's brush to do it, robinmosesnailart.com, and it's called her wand. It's the liner, and she has a striper. We're going to use that to do the art, and then I will be adding in some crystals, and we're going to be doing a gray color. It's hard to see them in here. Um, but they're a smoky color, like on my finger now there. They're a smoky gray. Almost looks like a clear rhinestone, but they're a smoky gray. And as you see, it kind of did bleed on the nail. See how some spots look a little bit like it's orange or peach? It just bled with the red, but I don't care. I'm going to leave it. I don't care. You can still tell it's the white flowers. I'm not going to worry and go over it and mess it up or anything because I've already got the rhinestones and everything on it. Sometimes nails bleed, but they look gorgeous. I love them. So I'll be putting in the little gray stones into the centers of the flowers. And I'm going to do the flower on the big toe, and I might do an accent toe. But then what I'm going to do, and I 
don't think I have it in front of me. Oh, I do. All right, so I'm going to take this one here and a black one. I have black and white in the Art Deco liner paints, and I'm just going to do some lines, kind of just coming off. I'm not going to do a straight line. I think I'm going to do one straight line of white, and then I think I'm going to go off this way and off this way with the black. You'll see as I go along, but I don't have the black here um, right now in front of me, but it's going to be the black and the white just so it adds in with the concept of the flowers. But the flowers will be on the big toe, and I might do an accent toe as well. And then, of course, like I said, put the rhinestones in. And after that's done, then I'm going to go ahead and top it off again with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started and just probably start off with the lines. And then I'll come back in and show you guys. Okay. So I've done the white line and then the black coming off one way and going you know, like up one way and down the other. I've done every one. Of course, this is going to be the accent toe. So I didn't do this one. This one will be the one with the flower on it. And then I've done two over here, but I left one open so I can show you guys that. All right, let's draw in here. Okay, I'll move my toe over a little bit. I'm going to start with the white. I'm just going to get a little bit of paint on it. You don't need a lot on the brush. And then we're just going to go across, just set the brush down and go across. And it's kind of like a thicker white line, which is perfect. And if you need to, you can go to the other side and fill it in coming across. Um, when I was doing it with the other foot, it, I didn't have to do that, but this one I had to. So just go across like that. All right. And then take the black paint. And this one's a really thin brush. Some of them are really thin. Some of them might cut them to make them even thinner. Then you're just going to set the brush down and just real quick go like that and then come to the bottom and again just you know give it a quick swipe if it doesn't work just go back into your paint and go over it again because i kind of want this to be a little bit longer like that there we go so then you've got the concept of the white and the black in there which is really nice because then it'll match when i do the flowers all right so let's get set back up here draw out and I'm going to now start on the flowers. I'll get some done and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got the flowers. I've got two of them, a bigger one and a smaller one on the big toe with the leaves. And then just one single one on the middle toe there, just to kind of have an accent one. All right, let's draw in. We're starting off with just the white paint. All right, and we're going to just do, I'll start off at the top part now and do the bigger flower up here. So I'm just gonna just put the brush down. And again, this is just a quick uh, five petal flower that you just want it to be not perfect, okay? So just kind of do it like in a V. I've done these flowers many times before, but they're just beautiful. But really just make this one more childlike, like a child was doing it, you know? Just go quickly with it. Don't take your time and patience with this one. Just do it. <laughs> like Nike would say, just do it. All right, and then we're gonna do a small one down here. And so I'm just going to make the petals a little smaller and we're going to do five of them again. Just coming around like that again. Do it quickly. Don't don't pay attention like, you know, for that perfection because you're going to get it going quickly. Just go quick. All right. And then we're going to do some leaves. I'll do one right here and just go to one side, go to the other and just give it a quick little pull at the end. I'll do another one down in here. Give it a little pull. And then I'll do one right here. So we have three of them. Just like that. And then we're going to do a small little flower on this toe. A really tiny one. So again, just really quick. Get these petals in. Do not stop to think. Just do it. And just kind of come into a V with them and do a five petal flower. And if you need a little bit more paint, just go back and get some more paint. All right. And then I'm just going to do a leave bit more paint do a leave on this side just a small one and do whoops let me round that up a little bit more all right and then I'm going to do one down in this corner again just a really tiny one and bring it up like that there we go so adorable and cute right I love it love it love love I love the childlike feel to this one all right so now I'm gonna do and border it with the black, um, going around like I did in the nails here. We're gonna get that step done, and then I will be back in again. Okay, now we've got them bordered with the black. Isn't that cute? And I even did this one on this side, but I left this one open to show you guys. So again, we'll draw in, and I'll show you how I'm doing that. We just got the black paint here, and you want a tiny, tiny, tiny little amount. 
because we just want to go around these and you don't want to be perfect. Like I said in the nail video, don't outline these perfectly. Just go around really quick and just whatever you get, you get, okay? Just go around it like that and just be going around to border the flower itself, but have it be not perfected because <laughs> then it's going to be perfection. All right, so I'm just gonna do this one like that. All right, now I'll go to the small one and again, just go around it. Again, don't have them perfect. You don't need these lines perfect. You want them to look like this. And then through the leaves, I'm just gonna quick, just do a couple little lines through it real quick. And through this one, very thin little lines like that. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Like I said, this one does give me an oriental feel, but it definitely is more childlike the way the flowers are. I just think they are adorable. All right, let's back up here. All right, our next step we have to do now is the rhinestones. So I'm gonna get those on. I probably will put some just in the corner of this one too, just so they all get some stones and then I'll be back in. Okay, and now we've got the rhinestones done on everyone on this uh, toe. And then over here, I left this one and this one open to show you. Let me draw in so you can see them. See them on the big toe there? Aren't they cute? They almost look like a uh, queer rhinestone with that smokiness to it. That's what I like. All right, so I've just got a little bit of glue and a cap here. I'm just gonna dip the end of the stick and put a dot right there for that flower and a dot for that one. And then just a dot of glue right there. And I've got three stones laid out, ready to go. So they were prepared. I'm just gonna stick one in the center of this flower. One in here, hopefully you can see that. And then one right in the center there where I did that uh, crossover with the black. Just put it there. Isn't that pretty, you guys? So beautiful and cute. I love this one. All right, let's back up again now. And now I'm going to top coat everything and get ready to uh, show you guys the end product. But I will come back in and show you top coating. A lot of people like to just see that. When going over acrylic paints and stuff, you really want to do a thick coat and you want to just glide over it. Also covers the stones, but you have to cover your paint because acrylic paint will wash off as soon as you take a bath. It'll wash right off, so you do have to top coat this. And of course, we want it shiny and beautiful. So let me get that done. I'll come back in and show you one toe. Okay, they're all done with the high shine top coat except for this one. And I'll just draw and I'll show you. You just want a nice thick coat of a beautiful top coat. I love Sesh Vite. And you want it to be nice and thick. And I mean thick on your brush and then just drop it down and then just go across gliding over your design so you don't ruin anything because it's so easy to smudge your design. But don't worry how thick it is because it's going to dry fast. This is a quick dry top coat and it dries very fast. So just go over it. I mean, in 10 minutes, it'll be completely dry. Well, maybe 15 completely dry, but 10 minutes dry to the touch. So I'm just gonna go around and just clean up any uh, pooling that I may have got of it. But that's it, you guys. I am going to do one more coat because the first coat always kind of seeps in. The paint kind of sucks it up. So I always do two coats of a clear coat. So I'm going to do a second coat, come back and show you guys the end product. All righty, everyone. I am all done with my adorable childlike toes. Aren't these cute? I love them. They look phenomenal. I love the flowers. They're giving me an oriental feel, but also a child feel. And I love the way they turned out. Love how the toes are done always a little bit different than the nails. The nails all have the flowers. They just have it just on two of the, you know, the nails here, the big toe and one of the accent ones. And, but I got the lines in it, the rhinestones, everything. I think it is just adorable and cute. Isn't it pretty, you guys? Such a beautiful summer nail design. I love it. Love the way they turned out. I hope you guys do as well. I hope you try it out yourself and everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Uh -huh.